What's the mood there now, Mark? The mood is much the same, a determined group of people queuing. And since we last spoke, Kasia, the queue is growing in length. As you said, it's reached its furthest point, Southwark Park. And uh, yeah, about nine hours if you're joining at the moment. Uh, we're expecting a surge over the weekend of more people, of course, when they won't, won't be working. And also with the added incentive, if you like, of seeing a, a vigil uh, around the Queen's Coffin from on Friday, her children, King Charles, will be joined by his siblings at around 7.30 UK time. And also on Saturday, uh, where the Queen's grandchildren, uh, the Prince of Wales, the Duke of Sussex, will be joined by six other grandchildren. And they'll also be holding vigil around uh, the Queen's coffin. But today we also saw the former Prime Minister, Theresa May, entering Westminster Hall. And two Cabinet Ministers, the Defence Secretary Ben Wallace and the Scotland Secretary Alistair Jack, they were actually keeping guard over the Queen's coffin and the reason why is because they're members of the Royal Company of Archers which functions as the monarch's bodyguard in Scotland. So a lot going on in Westminster at the moment and two of the people that have just come out of Westminster Hall join me now and let me introduce you to Wendy and Joe. Um, Wendy, you are um, a Beaver Scout leader and of course the Queen is a patron or was a patron of the Scouts Association. That's right. Um, is that what drew you here? Uh, yes, it was. Um, basically, I've uh, been in scouting my whole life from my father. Um, he, he's, the Queen was very prominent, um, certainly with, on St George's Day parades um, at Windsor. Uh, they, there's always a, a guard of honour and remembrance, um, remembrance services at the, uh, the, up at the memorial. And your father met the Queen? Uh, yes, yes, he, um, he was uh, during the, the St George's Day Parade, so he got a, a award to, to show that, and the Queen was, was at that point. So. And how emotional was today for you? Yes, it was certainly very emotional. I, um, it, got emo it certainly came to uh, a very emotional point when we got to, at the end of this, a zig zigzag part in the gardens, and then it went to single file and um, it all went very quiet and uh, that's when you all realised that that was when you were going to be seeing the Queen and it was um, quite emotional um, certainly brought back memories of my, my dad who died a couple of years ago and um, yeah <laughs> We've heard that from a lot of people that it's, it's triggered other memories of former grief that they've had Jo uh, is a new friend of yours. You met her in the queue. I did. Jo, you came all the way from Perth. I did, yes. I missed seeing the Queen lying in state in Edinburgh and I knew I would kick myself for it. Now, the reason why you didn't, want to, you didn't go into Edinburgh in the end was what? The queues were 10 hours. And 10 I... hours. And so you've come here and what? <laughs> there were, what, eight hours? Eight, yeah, eight, yeah. eight hours it took us. And obviously I, I woke up this morning and thought, that's it, I'll regret it if I don't go. So hopped on the train at Edinburgh, down to London, and uh, we've met, there's about six of us in the queue, and we've, we've just been really, really friendly. We've yeah. supported one another. It's surprising how hard it is. It's really physically quite difficult. It is, it eight um, miles it turned out being. Yeah. Like, and and for miles. someone in the Scouts, <laughs> you're yeah. finding it difficult. Yeah, well, I think the hardest bit was going slow, and yes. then stopping, and then starting. Yeah. And then entering Westminster Hall, how did that feel for you, Jo? Well, it was very solemn that the, you could hear a pin drop. Literally, it was very, very quiet. And for me, um, I've had no experience with the royals, but I, she's been the queen all my life. And I lost my father many years ago. But as you say, it does bring back memories of grief. And for me, it was a very, I was surprisingly emotional, surprisingly. Um, but yeah, it was something that you would not miss. Uh, I'm so glad I did it. I'm not going to try and get home. <laughs> I, think, I think it helps, though. I think it helps have to cope with the grief. Mm. Um, she she was an amazing lady. She, you were saying that to me earlier that uh, she actually calmed you down by her presence. Yeah. Inside. Yeah, she just just everywhere. She, she was just like she just makes you feel comfortable um, and able to just move on with your own life. Even at this time, she was yes. able to have that effect yes. on you. Yes. Wendy Joe, thank you very much for sharing your stories with us.
Um, and also a sense here that preparations for the funeral um, are underway, a huge day uh, ahead in a few days time here in Westminster. But right now, thousands still filing past us.